So I'm pretty excited. I was, uh, I was just reading an update from one of our Founders Board members, uh, Kimberly, who just finished a really critical hire. So got a, got a key executive in place and uh, just finished a major, major upgrade to their company uh, operating system. And so she was kind of announcing, hey, I am officially a CEO. Right, I'm really proud. Uh, I, I am officially a CEO, and I actually congratulated her uh, on her exit. And a lot of people are like exit. What do you mean? She didn't sell the company. You know, she just hired an executive. And I was like, well, she did have an exit because one of the things that we talk about is that there are actually five different types of exits that every entrepreneur um, could, and in many cases, should uh, take. So I just want to break down uh, in this video just what the five exits of the entrepreneur are, so that. You know what they are so that you can hopefully achieve your ideal exit. So the first exit, exit number one, is when we exit the line. This is when we go from worker to manager. Okay, and without a doubt, I believe that every entrepreneur needs to make this exit. Okay, even if you're a solo operator, right? Even if you want to be a freelancer, which I don't necessarily recommend, but whatever. Um, you still should be getting some help, right? So when we exit the line, when we hire some people, we get some help, and we begin managing those people. That is exit number one. Hopefully, you've already taken that. Exit number two is when we exit the staff. And this is what Kimberly did, right? This is when we build a true leadership team, a true leadership team that is running based on a scalable operating system that is built, installed, running. That is when you are truly a CEO. You might have the CEO title, but if you don't have a solid leadership team and if you don't have an operating system in place, you're kind of a CEO in title alone. Sorry to be the one to tell you that. If you want help, by the way, getting those and becoming a true CEO, let us know. We can do that, assuming I haven't offended you. If I did, you'll get over it, you're fine. Exit number three is when you exit the org chart. Now, this is not for everyone. I've known a lot of entrepreneurs who they love being CEO, they love being in the trenches, they love running everything. If that's you, that's great. Uh, for me, this is what I love, right? I love it when a business that I've been running gets to a point where I can step away. And whether we bring somebody in from the outside or ascend somebody from within, I really love exiting the org chart you know, relinquishing the CEO title and just being on the board. Exit number four, this is when you leave the board and you're basically just an investor, right? You keep your equity, but you have no more governance responsibilities, no more quarterly board meetings, none of that. You're just receiving your dividends and your distributions. And exit number five, this is what most people think when they think about exit. This is when you actually exit ownership. So exiting ownership, it is a type of exit. It's not the only exit. So the question I have for you in the next 12 to 18 months, which of these five exits uh, do you want to take? And maybe in the next 36 months, which of these exits would you like to see then? It's up to you, right? That is the beautiful thing about owning your own business. You can scale as much or as little as you want, but if you want help achieving your ideal exit, that is what we do at The Scalable Company. It's what we do in our Founders Board uh, membership. We help seven-figure entrepreneurs scale to eight, hit their number, achieve their ideal exit. If that sounds good, uh, then we should probably talk. You should probably apply. Um, either way, figure out what is your ideal exit.